Coronavirus, Can You Get COVID-19? In this episode of Coronavirus series to know what coronavirus is and how to deal with it, as well as how to protect yourself from this new epidemic and what are the modern methods of treatment and methods of treatment in alternative medicine. The number of global cases of the new coronavirus has reached more than 255,943, as the pandemic continues its spread around the world. However, the latest figures also show more than 89,000 people, many of whom are in China where the virus originated, have recovered from the disease. While the recovery rate is promising, it does not mean that those who have been infected with coronavirus are not still at risk, as experts believe having the virus once does not mean you cannot get sick from it again. This is what you need to know about coronavirus immunity and contracting the virus more than once. If you recover from the new coronavirus, do you have immunity? To date, there have been more than 10,000 deaths from coronavirus globally. However, most people infected with COVID-19 virus have mild disease and recover, according to the World Health Organization according to Li Chin Guen, Director of Pneumonia Prevention and Treatment at China-Japan Friendship Hospital in Beijing, those who have been infected with COVID-19 develop a protective antibody, but it isn't clear how long the protection lasts. However, in certain individuals, the antibody cannot last that long, Li told USA Today. For many patients who have been cured, there is a likelihood of relapse. In children, it is currently believed that the virus causes the development of at least short-term immunity. No one knows for sure, but most children likely develop at least short-term immunity to the specific coronavirus that causes COVID-19, Dr. Peter Jung, an assistant professor of pediatrics at the University of Texas Medical School at Houston told the Huffington Post. But just as the flu can mutate, so could COVID-19, which would make an individual susceptible to reacquiring the infection. However, according to Dr. Stephen Gluckman, an infectious diseases physician at Penn Medicine and the medical director of Penn Global Medicine, who spoke to the outlet, it seems likely that having the disease once results in immunity in most individuals, as is seen with other coronaviruses. Coronavirus live cases around the world tap or hover over each country for confirmed cases, deaths and recoveries, coronaviruses aren't new, they've been around for a long, long time and many species, not just humans, get them, he explained. So we know a fair amount about coronaviruses in general. For the most part, the feeling is once you've had a specific coronavirus, you are immune. We don't have enough data to say that with this coronavirus, but it is likely. This means that people who initially recovered are more likely to relapse rather than get reinfected with the virus. According to one study, people with mild infections can test positive for the virus by throat swabs, for days and even weeks after their illness. But that doesn't mean it isn't possible to contract the disease again, especially in those who are immunocompromised. The immune response to COVID-19 is not yet understood, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention CDC, explains. Patients with MERS COV infection are unlikely to be reinfected shortly after they recover, but it is not yet known whether similar immune protection will be observed for patients with COVID-19. While further studies are needed to understand whether it is possible for an individual to be reinfected with new coronavirus, experts recommend those who have been infected follow the hygiene steps outlined by CDC, which include staying away from people who are sick, frequently washing hands, and covering coughs and sneezes. COVID-19, what you can do right now to stay safe in the face of increasingly widespread fears of a COVID-19 pandemic, what concrete steps can a person take right now to prevent the infection? Read our practical guide based on official sources. Share on Pinterest in this special feature, we explain how to maximize the chances of staying healthy during the COVID-19 outbreak. To date, public health officials have reported tens of thousands of cases of COVID-19, the respiratory disease caused by the new coronavirus, SARS-CoV-2. This situation has caused many people around the world to feel anxious about becoming infected, and social media outlets and public forums abound with questions about how to keep COVID-19 at bay. This special feature is a practical guide that describes the best ways to avoid a respiratory infection at home, at work, at school, and while traveling. 
the recommendations that we outline are based on those of official sources, including the World Health Organization WHO, the Centers for Disease Control and Protection CDC, and the American Red Cross, as well as our correspondence with a WHO spokesperson. How to stay safe where you live based on the information received so far, and on our experience with other coronaviruses, COVID-19 appears to spread mostly through respiratory droplets, when a sick person coughs, for example, and close contact, a WHO spokesperson told Medical News Today. In light of that information, the spokesperson said, the WHO recommend preventive actions to minimize exposure to droplets. During day-to-day -day activities, people can take the following measures to prevent infection, in accordance with WHO guidelines, 1. Clean the hands regularly with an alcohol-based sanitizer, or wash them with soap and water. The CDC also make this recommendation, advising that sanitizer should contain at least 60% alcohol, and that people should wash their hands for at least 20 seconds. 2. Clean surfaces, such as kitchen seats and work desks, regularly with disinfectant. 3. Avoid crowded areas when going out, for people over 60 years old and people with any underlying health problems. 4. Try to avoid close contact with people who display flu-like symptoms, including coughing and sneezing. 5. Get accurate information about COVID-19. Some good sources include the Pan American Health Organization and WHO websites. The American Red Cross also advise against touching the mouth, nose, or eyes when out and about, before having a chance to wash the hands. Also, the CDC recommend getting the flu shot to prevent other seasonal respiratory infections. How to stay safe at work and schoolwork and school environments may seem particularly daunting in the context of an outbreak, but some simple measures can help prevent infection in the office or classroom. They are largely the same as those outlined above. According to WHO recommendations, the following are the most important preventive steps. 1. Regularly clean work surfaces and objects in continual use, such as phones and computer keyboards. 2. Regularly wash the hands with soap and water or use sanitizer. In recent telebriefings, CDC officials advised anyone who is concerned about the potential impact of COVID-19 to get in touch with employers and schools to find out exactly what response measures they have in place. Stay informed about COVID-19 how to stay safe while traveling for people who are planning to travel, all of the same basic hygiene recommendations apply. The WHO advise, cleaning hands on a regular basis keeping at least 1 meters distance from people who are coughing or sneezing following COVID-19 specific travel advisories from local authorities The CDC provide extensive, frequently updated information. What if you have flu-like symptoms? What happens if you start experiencing flu-like symptoms despite your best attempts to stay healthy? The WHO spokesperson who responded to MNT queries offered the following advice, 1. Cough or sneeze into your elbow or use a tissue, then dispose of the tissue immediately and clean your hands. 2. If you feel unwell, stay home and call your doctor or a local health professional. 3. If you develop shortness of breath, call your doctor and seek care immediately. 4. If you are sick, stay home, eat and sleep separately from others in the house, and use different utensils and cutlery. The WHO spokesperson also gave us some travel-related advice for people who have flu-like symptoms and are either contemplating travel or have just returned from a trip. They explained that, anyone with a fever or cough should avoid traveling. Anyone who develops symptoms on a flight should inform the crew immediately and, once home, contact a health professional and tell them about the locations visited. Be prepared, but do not panic by what if you develop COVID-19, or a healthcare professional suspects that you have it, and you need to stay home for a prolonged period. How should you prepare? Some public health experts have offered advice. If you or a friend or family member takes any prescription medication, make sure you have a good supply, e.g., at least four weeks' worth, says Professor Peter Openshaw, from Imperial College London, in the United Kingdom. As for food and other necessities, don't panic buy, he advises, but do buy a few extra provisions when you normally go shopping. Don't forget about pets. Follow us with the second part, how to protect yourself from coronavirus. 
please subscribe to the channel to receive all new immediately upon release please subscribe to the channel to receive all new immediately upon release